Welcome to Let's Clay, episode two. This time, Evan will be on the wheel and he'll show you how to center. That's right. We're gonna be making a teapot over the next uh, series of episodes. So, first thing you do is you slam it down on here. It's gonna get the mess cone. up. It's gonna mess up the audio. The cone thing. Yeah. You roll it around on here. Get a little cone. And you slam it down. I don't know what exactly that does, but I was taught that that's an important well, step. Well, what it does follow. is if you have like a flat edge when you slam it down, you're gonna get. What you can do is when you if you slam it when it's flat, as soon as like one part of it hits, like the air kind of tries to rush out and like can make a little air pocket in the very bottom. That's what it does. Education. Yes. So, got a rib. I got a needle tool. I got a wood thing. Got water and sponge. Get really wet. Wet clay is a lot easier to work with. Dry clay, I've never tried, but I'm sure it would just go bad. Well, you. <laughs> There's this one guy that like throws with just like no water. Slip. He throws with just no water, and it's crazy. And he's got to like do everything with his fingertips. Have you seen that? It's pretty crazy. I, 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 you told me about this before. I don't I know. Don't if, I, if, I, if I find it, I'll put a link in it in the description. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. He just throws like with like the very as little amount of surface area as he can, so that because it's there's you know it's just completely dry. And I think he has to do it with a special clay. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm Evan. I'm Eddie. And we met in here in our ceramics class, our high school ceramics class. Um, I had already been doing ceramics for a while at a different school, and I moved to this one. And Eddie just had had just started. I had done hand building my first year. Uh, my second year of ceramics is where I met Evan. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to be good on the wheel, and this guy over here throws like 25 pounds at a time in the beginning of the year, and I was like, need to need to meet this fellow here, get better acquainted, and learn some lessons. Taught him a lot. He taught me a lot. Then we ended up, you know, just being in the same classes till the end of the year. Became good friends. Uh, friendly rivals, I'd say. Right. I mean, it's not much of a rivalry when one person's a lot better than the well, other. Well, I mean, I mean, I, you're like not. <laughs> in the first episode, you're like, wow, Evan, that's a lot of talk for the guy who's not throwing. And now yeah. you're like, man, this guy who's throwing in front of me is just so I gotta, good. I gotta start off entertaining. Uh -huh. gotta, gotta give you a chance to rebuttal. Okay. That's what Makes I'm doing sense. here. Well, anyways, what I'm doing right now is you, I got it down to, it's pretty centered. It's not what I want it to be though. So what you do to like center it is I get my palm here at about between, oh. like, between five and six o'clock. Five and I get my, I mean, 5.30 doesn't work because it's two hands though. I was gonna say that, but. <laughs> <laughs> then this hand is about like two, between two and three o'clock. You're gonna like push the clay together it's called coning it up, and it's kind of wedging the clay as you're bringing it up. So when you're coning the clay, Evan, uh, you get a little bowl at the top. What what do you do to avoid that? The little like hole that I just yeah, got the, right there. The bowl that comes up. What's a good way to um, if, to deal with that as it happens? As it happens, uh, you should just prevent it. Right, what's a good preventative it's strategy? Right do you know? Just making making it so that it's you have like a mound when you bring it bring it together. So like. Like that. So if I brought that up right now, it wouldn't it wouldn't go into as much as like a crater. Because if you have the top flat, or if you have the top um, flat, or you have the in, when you bring it up, it's just gonna sink down. You're gonna get a little hole, and it's not what you want. So we just finish centering this, and then we'll continue on the next episode, I think. But yeah, we met in high school. Friendly rivals. One of us got an art award that was I got obviously the, deserved for the other. I mean, I got the plaque. <laughs> he got the medal. I mean, I'd won the plaque last year at the, the school I went to before, and I told the teacher, I was like, man, I don't need another plaque. My wall is pretty full as it is. Got my wallet. And um, don't worry about your wallet, man. I got, I, I'm not just going to leave it there. We're good friends. We don't mind doing this. He minds a little bit, I bet. All right, so I got this centered now. And why is centering important, Evan? Uh, so that it's not wobbly, and that your thing has an even wall when you put your when you put the hole in, which we're gonna go over pulling, putting the hole in, and uh, we're gonna end up we're gonna make this a teapot on the next episode. 
So the, the, the shape, there's a lot of steps. We'll, we'll get to the steps we'll, later. We'll get to the steps. All right, so thanks for watching. See you next episode. Praise. What? <laughs>